Hi guys, my name is Vinny Thomas. Me and Robert actually take care of the IT and data support division for Abstract Marketing Group. We welcome you on board. If you face any kind of technical issue, we will be the right people to be in touch. So today, what I'm going to do is just to help you guys how to install the dialer. First of all, you would have soft phone that is iBeam. You know, you could use X Lite. Maybe you can use uh, Zoiper also. It's absolutely fine. But this is what we are using. This is what we recommend. It's no, it doesn't provide you any kind of trouble. So let's get into the settings part. Uh, the first thing what we do is that when you have your soft phone registered, we go to the SIPS account settings. I'll open a new account because I need to configure the settings. Like this, you will receive a sheet that will have your login credentials. What this sheet includes? This sheet includes two URLs, one, two, and then your agent name, soft phone ID, phone login ID, test agent login ID, and the password, right? So apart from this, we have shared an intro link where you would get to know about this video. You could find out how exactly it has to be installed. Second is a link to download the soft phone, the same soft phone that we are using, okay? So first of all, we need to install the soft phone. We will do that here. Let me just find out the details. So the soft phone ID says 9099. So I'll mention all here as 9099. So starting here, display name is 9099. Username is 9099. The password is test user. So I'll mention that T-E-S-T-U-S-E-R. Then the authorization username would again remain 9099. And the domain name, now this is very important because it's a cluster dialer, it's made out of, you know, different servers for different programs, okay? This is the SoftMoon server IP. This is the IP that I'll be using here in the SoftMoon, okay? So I'll be entering here 208.167.249.243. It's all set, no other changes required, apply, okay, if my settings is all correct, I'll activate those, close, yes, it's good to go. If you'll get this message, your username is whatever has been, you know, customizedly offered to you, that means you have done a good job. Second thing what you need to do is, there is a button called auto answer. You should make this enabled. Why is it important is, every time you log in, there is a pop-up screen that will come up on the call. So you don't have to manually accept it every time, it automatically connects. Now as my soft phone is ready, it is working absolutely fine, I'll be logging into the web. Now the difference is, we use this particular IP for the soft phone registration. But for the web login or the CRM, I will be using this particular IP. That is 45.32.1.4. Let's try it out. Here is my browser. I mentioned 45.32.1.4. So this is the dialer page. I would have to go to the agent login. The first thing I get is the phone login and phone password. So my phone login is this 9099B screen ID. Okay. So I'll be mentioning here 9099B. And the password will remain the same for all the places. In this case, we have created test user. So it will be test user, right? And so I've mentioned, click on submit. Again, it is asking for the user login. Now I have to mention the username or the agent name that is given to you over the UI screen. So it says test one. So I will be mentioning here as test one in the second part. And then the user password will again remain the same. That is test user. So it's T-E-S-T-U-S-E-R. Then if my information is all correct, I will be receiving the uh, drop-down menu of the campaigns that we are dialing for. For an example, let's say that I am picking up a uh, water app for now and I will submit. If all the information You are currently the only person in this conference. And you will hear to a voice that says you are currently the only person in this conference. That means everything is working fine. Okay, I have successfully logged into the system but my soft phone is connected to the web URL. Okay, I'm ready. So this is your screen where you will be receiving all the information. And once you receive a pop-up call of an active customer,